guys, Crafty G here. Um, as you can see, I've started off for using these three pictures. Um, they were taken in October of last year. Um, I'm just, as you can see, just cutting them up. I'm going to mount them um, using some black and orange cardstock. Um, I accidentally already started the background before I realised I need to actually film. But I stopped only two two bits in, which is really good. Which is good. I tried a bit of um, tissue paper at first, but it just it just wasn't bold enough for me, and the and the colours on this was so poignant that I needed to go with something a little bit more fixed and something very bold. So I'm just putting the photo hanging over the edge slightly so I can get half of it black and half of it orange so on this one I'm doing the um, top half black because this one's going to sit in the middle of my page um, and I'm just giving myself excess cardstock to be able to cut it down properly and I thought instead of using my scissors um, I said I'm using my scissors, I'm going to cut it with my cutter because I'm going to get a nice clean edge then. And I really did love this. So we went to um, a pumpkin patch, which is also part of like a haunted maze. Um, I don't do the haunted maze, but we went to the pumpkin patch bit and it was the October 31st. It was literally the day of. The pumpkins were just... I don't know why we went there on that day, but it was the only day we could, so... We went there, and I went there with my friend, Helen, and we decided... We were just having a whale of a time. We sat in the barrels. Um, yeah, we sat in the barrel, and all the pumpkins were pretty much rotten. Um, and in, that, in the back of that photo, you can actually see where um, one of the pumpkins is rotten. But it was just a laugh. And it was just something fun to do, I suppose. Um, so I'm just cleaning off my desk. I'm just taking the double-sided sticky tape away. Um, and I think we're on photo two. No, this is the third one, I think. Yes, yeah, it's the third. So as you can see, I'm just hanging it off the edge slightly. And I'm just cutting them down to size. I gave myself about... A, a, a sixteenth um, of an edge just round the round the photo. I didn't want the mat the matting to be um, really big, so I kept it just at a normal kind of size, just just enough, just to see that it's there. To be to be honest, it was more the orange that I wanted you to see. So as I, because I've done the black already and I have it half done, I cut the orange slightly differently um, and I'm just using my Cricut Pick tool there, which is a very handy tool. It, it, even if you don't use it for the Cricut, even if you just use it just to pick double sided sticky tape off, it really, it really saves your manicure, <laughs> that's for sure. One of my friends uses um, his knife to do that. Which is really handy as well. Very, very handy. So yeah, I'm just placing the um, pictures as close to an edge as possible. So that when I come to cut it, I can get that um, pretty pristine. And as you can see, I'm going right up to the edge on these and cutting them straight out. Um, and then what will happen is I'll have a square, but the top will be black and the bottom will be orange. If I say yellow at any point of this, I mean orange. I just, for some reason, my head doesn't say orange. It says yellow. Pretty much all of the time. <laughs> Which is something I really need to learn to change. But that is one thing that I have not been able to fix. So 
So we're just coming a little bit closer to the end of the matting. I'm just fixing all the little edges because um, they were giving me a hard time. That orange cardstock is not the best, honestly, but it does the job. I think it's the only orange I have in my cardstock, you know. But that photo in the barrel, I think that's the best photo. It really is just some really, a really good display of how much fun we were having. So I've brought in my um, 12 by 12 black sheet um, and as you can see I've started doing the um, stripes on this. So I'm going to be putting thick and thin, thick and thin and I'm going to do it all the way across the top. Um, and I started doing it freehand, um, like lining up the bottom freehand as you can see here. But it just wasn't accurate enough for me. I wanted it to be really pristine. So I um, I got my ruler out in a second. And you'll see that in a minute. I think it was this one or the next one that I put. I got my ruler out to make sure it was completely straight. So I'm just lining up the last piece, um, just making sure that everything is exactly how I would like it. I do love those squeezy bottles, they're really really handy for precision glue um, and you just you can cover so much more space with them and so much more area with them and they have like a very fine tip. Um, to be able to let the glue come through. I think this strip caused me the most difficulty because the ruler has a gap where that was just going through um, and it was just causing so much grief so I pulled the ruler down slightly um, so, that, so that it would sit next to it and close to it. So now I'm just flipping over the cardstock just double checking that all the pieces are exactly where I want it to be and level with the rest um, and then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to cut off the remaining cardstock all those little rectangles that are on the edge for me I always find it easier to cut cut them off as I'm doing it um, because otherwise I just find that the layout gets messy. Or I, that's how I feel. I see it as a mess and I, I can't have that. So I want it to look how I want it to look rather than waiting till the end to do something like that. But that's just me. Everyone's different. Now that I've got um, an area and setup that I'm really enjoying using, I like to keep it very clean. So as I go, I have a, a massive bin next to me when I'm crafting. And um, I just, I like to sweep everything away and just get my, my space clear so I can carry on. If I don't do it during projects, I do it like right after a project, it will be clean and tidy. Because um, most of the time I take photos or videos are coming out. So I have to make sure that it's all clean and tidy underneath. 
So I'm just picking up um, the big photo, the main photo. This one is going to be um, the centre point. I want this to be the main focus on the layout. And to do that, the black, I'm making sure that the black is sitting on the orange um, so that it really pops. And I'm just trying to figure out where I want them. So I think I decide to have them down at the bottom. Because I know that I've got quite a bit of um, ephemera that I want to use on this layout. So I start getting in my ephemera. That pumpkin that I just put on, that's my, one of my favourite pieces in this collection. It, um, it has blood dripping from its teeth, which I think is so cool. And these little shadow bats are brilliant, just for a little edge piece to tuck in there. I re realised that I'd stuck all, the, all of them down, <laughs> but I tried to pick them up and it just wasn't working, so... I will find another place for those. So I'm just having a little bit of a play really, just just to find see where I really want the, some of this ephemera. I love poking um, pieces of ephemera out from underneath photos and and layering them. They just look. I find I find that they look so much better if you layer. Um, and it just it brings the page together.
So I decided that once I glued everything down, um, there was something missing. There was something that needed to be added to this layout. Um, so I got a piece of tissue paper to begin with. And I started covering over some of the ephemera. And I got my Tim Holtz um, Distress Spray. And instead of spraying, I just made some droplets and I put it all over the page. Um, I avoided the photos. That was the main thing I wanted to avoid was the photos. Um, the reason I covered over the boo is because the white is a different white and I didn't want it to um, stand out too much. And I got a little bit of a big dollop on, <laughs> on one of the words. But you can't really notice it now that I've taken, I want it off so it's fine. So I'm just covering over one of the photos and I got a big piece of card to cover over the big photo. And I'm just tapping. I feel like this just added an extra texture to the layout and I feel like that's what it needed. It just needed something that was tangible um, to the layout. So I was going to put that away, but I realised that I needed to cover over the big photo again. So I put it back on it um, in just a second. There we go. I put it back on it and um, just did that other corner. In fact, I think I was holding it. Yeah, I'm holding it. I was holding the card just slightly over the photo so you couldn't see it. And that's it, ladies and gents. This is my finished design. I'll put some pictures on the end and I hope you enjoy. <laughs>